Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at the Cape Pure Mathematics Unit 1 question in module 2 of the syllabus, which is coordinate geometry, trigonometry, and vectors. All right, and the topic for today is trigonometric identities. All right, so we're going to prove this trigonometric identity here. So the question says, prove that sine of A plus B plus C is equal to sine A times cos B times cos C plus sine B times cos C times cos A plus sine C times cos A times cos B minus sine A times sine B times sine C. All right, so let us look at our solution. All right. Now remember that you should remember your compound angle formula for sine. All right. So the sine of P plus Q is equal to sine P multiplied by cos Q. All right. Plus the cosine of P multiplied by the sine of Q. All right. Now, in order to prove this trigonometric identity above, what I'm going to do is let P be equal to A plus B, all right? And I'm going to let Q be equal to C, all right? So what we will now have is that the sign, we'll have the sign, if I plug in A plus B for P in the formula above, I will get A plus B. And when I plug in C for Q, I will get that. All right, so we now have sine A plus B plus C. So that is equal to the sine of P. But remember now that P is A plus B multiplied by the cosine of Q. But remember Q is C plus the cosine of P. That is going to be the cosine of A plus B. All right, multiplied by the sine of Q, which is the sine of C. All right, I hope you follow that. Just simple substitution. So let us now use our compound angle formula to simplify. So we know that the sine of A plus B is the same as sine A cos B plus cos A sine B, all right? And remember we have cosine C outside, plus the cosine of A plus B now, you should recall that is the cosine of A times cos B minus sine A times sine B, all right? And remember now that we have the sine C on the outside. So we also have sine of C. Good. Let us now simplify by expanding the brackets. So we have cosine C being multiplied by each term inside the first bracket here. So what we will have is sine A. All right. What we'll have now is a sine A times cos B. All right, multiply by cos C plus we'll have a sine B multiplied by a cos C multiplied by cos A. All right, hope you follow that. So that is the expansion of that first bracket. Plus, we're going to expand the second bracket. All right, remember that the sine of C is on the outside. So sine C will, will be distributed in each term inside the brackets. So what we'll have here is a sine C times cos A, all right, times cos B, all right, minus, we're gonna have sine A times sine B multiplied by a sine C, all right, sine C is also here. Good. So that is our identity 
for the sine, the sine of A plus B plus C. All right, that is our identity. Now let's go back to the question. And you can clearly see that that is the answer that we got, right? That is our answer, sine A cos B cos C plus sine B cos C cos A plus sine C cos A cos B minus sine A sine B sine C, all right? Now they ask us to prove this result and we have now proven it, all right? So we can now write proven, all right? We can write proven. And that is the solution for this question. All right, trigonometric identities. If this video was helpful for you, please ensure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.